Welcome to Electron Online. Another very interesting fact, very interesting fact of exponential functions, and of course I'm talking about the natural exponential function e to the x, is that the slope of the function anywhere along the function is equal to the value of the function itself. Ooh, what does that actually mean? Well, again, here we have a graphical representation of the function y equals e to the x. And notice that the slope here is not very large, but the slope continues to get larger and larger and larger as the value of x gets larger and larger and larger. And to find the slope at any point along the, the curve, you simply draw a tangent line to the, to the function. And of course, you calculate the rise and calculate the run. And then you know that the slope is the ratio of the rise to the run. And guess what? That is always equal to e to the x for any value of x. Now, let's say that we know that x is equal to 2 and we want to know the value for the function. So since we know that y is equal to e to the x, then y when x is equal to 2 will be e to the second power. And if we then take the natural number e and square it, we get something approximately 7.389. What we're then saying is that when x is equal to 2, the slope of that point of that function is also equal to 7.389. So what we can say is that, therefore, you can know that the slope when x is equal to 2 is equal to e to the second power, which is also equal to 7.389, which means that the exponential function is such that the value of the function is always equal to the slope of that function for any value of x. That's actually kind of amazing when you think about it. Now remember when we had that equation or that infinite series that defines the exponential function. So we can say that e to the x can be written as the sum, n goes equal from 0 to infinity, of, that would be x to the n power divided by n factorial, which is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x to the fourth power divided by 4 factorial, and so forth. Now, in pre-calculus, we typically don't talk about derivatives, but for some of you, you may already know what derivatives are. And we already know that the slope of any function is equal to the derivative of that function. So if we take the derivative of this function, we can say that the derivative, the d dx, the derivative of the function, which is really finding the slope of the function, so we take the derivative of v to the x, that is equal to the derivative of all these different terms. So let's go ahead and take the derivative of that infinite series. Now, the derivative of 1, that is equal to, so that would be the d dx of the series 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial and so forth. And so if you take the derivative of every one of these uh, terms, the derivative of 1, that's equal to 0, plus the derivative of x, well, that's equal to 1, plus the derivative of x squared, that's equal to 2 times x, divided by 2 factorial, so that would be 2 times x divided by 2 factorial, plus the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, so that would be 3x squared divided by 3 factorial, plus the derivative of x to the fourth would be 4x cubed, 4x cubed divided by 4 factorial, of course we would keep doing that for the whole series, but notice, if we simplify this, this would become equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 2 factorial is 1, that's simply x, plus 3 divided by 2 factorial, that means 2 factorial in the denominator, and we have an x squared in the numerator, plus 4 divided by 4 factorial is 3 factorial in the denominator, times x cubed in the numerator, and so forth. And notice that when you take the derivative of the original function, you basically get the exact same function again, the exact same infinite series, which means that when we take the derivative of the exponential function, the natural exponential function e to the x, we get e to the x back, which proves that the slope of the natural exponential function is equal to the function itself, which means that the value of the function for any value of x is always equal to the value of the slope at that very same point. And that is what makes the exponential or the natural exponential function so incredibly unique. And it turns out that anything that grows unencumbered will always grow 
as a natural exponential function because the growth of anything such as a population is simply equal to the amount of the population at that very moment so whatever the growth rate is if there's a thousand of the item then it will grow according to that function if it's 2000 it will grow twice as fast 3000 will go three times as fast because there's three times as many that's why the exponential the natural exponential function represents the true way in which things grow in nature and anywhere in the universe and that's the, exponent, the natural exponential function or at least another look at that function.